let me ask you a question. Have you ever found yourself come January looking back at how much money you spent over the holiday season and thinking, oh my gosh, what have I done? I'm going to end up digging myself out of this hole for months and just feeling really sick to your stomach about it. Or maybe you get to January and you find yourself feeling even depressed or, or just sad because you missed out on so many holiday events. You didn't spend the money, but you feel like you missed out on something. You didn't feel the holiday spirit. Let's talk about five strategies that you can use, whether it's during the holiday season or for the rest of the year to help keep yourself from feeling like either you overspent or that you missed out on something along the way if you didn't overspend. And stay tuned for the last one because I think it's the most important and by far the most impactful. The first strategy is to start with the big picture in mind. Sit down and really think about it and get solid with yourself on what your money goals are. Are you stuck to a strict budget because you're trying to make ends meet and you can't go beyond that without getting into debt and further hurting your financial security? Or are you trying to save for something? Or if you're like me, you're retired and you could spend the money, you have it, you wouldn't be going into debt, but you'd also be jeopardizing your future and maybe having to go back to work to cover that, you know, that habit of spending. For me, I know that I don't want to go back to work in order to have more things. So I keep myself to a budget so that I don't have to do that. And that's my guiding principle, right? I don't want to spend more money than I know I can spend at any given point in time because it puts me on a track to maybe having to go back to work. So get clear on your big picture goals because that's what's going to keep you on track. When you can remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing, it makes it a lot easier. And a great way to support this big picture thinking is to also create a set of boundaries for yourself. Limit yourself to the dollar figure that you know you can comfortably spend. Or if if what it is that you're going for is to not amass a whole bunch of things unnecessarily, You tell yourself ahead of time, okay, I'm going to limit myself to one decorative item for Thanksgiving and one decorative item for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever holiday that you are celebrating during this time. Or later on in the year, is it a birthday season or is it, you know, summer vacations or whatever it is, but set yourself a limit so that you know whether it's a dollar limit or a number of items limit so that you know what you are going to stick to. Or maybe your strategy is that you're only going to spend money on experiences and not on things. Whatever that looks like for you, set some boundaries for yourself because if you don't know where the boundaries are, it's really easy to break through them. And the next strategy is to have a plan. Don't wait until you're out at the mall shopping with your friends or if you're out with your buddies and they all say, hey, let's go for a for a meal at this, you know, really cool restaurant down here. And now you're stuck and you don't know what to do or say and you know you're going to end up blowing your budget if you go along. But what are you going to do? So you you go through it and you do the best you can. Instead, have a plan. If you go out with, let's say, some friends to go on a shopping date, those are so much fun. But if you do that, maybe you you clue one of your friends in ahead of time and say, hey, you know what, just so you know, I'm really trying to stick to my budget and I have this goal out there that I'm trying to reach. So I'm not going to be spending a lot of money today, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be having fun. But I just having you know this helps me kind of stick to it. Can I count on your support? Right? Something like that. Or being able to anticipate all of the different invitations you might get to go for cocktails for the holiday or to holiday parties or whatever your situation is. And pre-planning that about how you're going to handle it, what you're going to do, maybe just saying no is easier for you. And that's a great strategy. And you can participate in some of these outings without spending a ton of money. Let's say your friends are going out for a fancy celebratory holiday meal. 
maybe you just decide, you know what, I'm going to stick to having a bowl of soup and an appetizer, or I'm going to have a cocktail, but then I'm just going to have a little salad or something like that. You, you see where I'm going with that. Just knowing ahead of time that you're not going to have to break the bank just to participate. The next strategy is to pay attention to the emotional side of all of this. There's the budgeting side and the logistics, but think about how you feel when you are in those situations and you know you're going to have to say no or you know you're going to have to do something differently. What are the feelings that you might anticipate you're going to have? And how can you talk to, talk yourself through those feelings even ahead of time to make sure that they don't catch you off guard? And another piece of this strategy is to do a gratitude practice through the holiday seasons. But before you are faced with these situations where you know you're going to have to say no or you know you're going to have to make some hard choices, think about what it is that you do have, what it is that you're grateful for in your life. What are the things that you're working towards that you know is just going to make your life so much better? And ah, I'm so grateful I recognize this. I'm so grateful that I have a tree full of Christmas ornaments already. I'm so grateful that I had this hot cup of coffee this morning in my little um, Hanukkah mug. And I'm so just, uh, it's abundant. My life is, you know, abundant. All of the the uh, mantras and the, and the gratitude practice you can muster this time of year will really help you then when you're out. And you've already said to yourself, gosh, I am so blessed or I am so rich already. My life just as it is, is enough and it's fantastic. It makes saying no a little bit easier. Another strategy is to focus on as many handmade items or low cost items that you can for gift giving. Now, some people receiving these gifts will appreciate that and some maybe not so much. But really, it's a, the thought that counts. It really is. That's not just, you know, a saying. It really is the thought that counts. When somebody takes the time to hand make a loaf of banana bread for me and give that to me as a gift, I know there was love and time and effort put into that. And I am just as grateful for that as I am for anything else. So think about what you can do. Maybe it's baking. Maybe it's having somebody over for dinner. Maybe it's, um, you know, hey, you know what I would like to do for you for the holidays? I'm going to plan a day where we're going to go on a hike. and We're going to do this thing together. Be creative. And I could go deeper into all the different ideas, but there are entire YouTube channels I'm sure I haven't looked, but I can pretty much guarantee you that there are entire YouTube channels on ideas that you can come up with to make gift giving less expensive. And the last strategy, and this is the one that I really think is the most important because it's just, it's so overarching and it's, it's more of a mindset shift than any of the others is that getting clear on why you're doing what you're doing. It's similar to the first strategy we talked about, but getting very clear on what your goals are and why, why do you have this goal set for yourself? What is it that you're trying to achieve? Envisioning your life, having achieved those goals already and being very, very clear about the why makes the what and the how so much easier. When you are standing there facing a decision to spend money or not spend money, and you have gotten very clear on why not spending that money is going to be helpful for you and is going to help you achieve your longer term goals, it is so much easier to say no. It really is. And here's the kicker. By saying no or by creating reasonable boundaries for yourself, what you're doing is giving a gift to yourself, to your future self. What an amazing holiday gift you've just given yourself to know that you're not going to be as much in debt afterwards as you otherwise would have, or you'll be that much closer to saving for whatever it is you're saving for, or you won't have to go to work in the new year to pay off all your debts that you overspent during the holiday season. This is a gift to your future self. And 
it's also self-care. If you don't get a handle on your spending, especially during the holiday season, you're setting yourself up for more grief. You're setting yourself for more difficult decisions in the future. Why do that to yourself? Think ahead, start now, or whenever now is for you when you're seeing this. It's never too late to start. The best time to start other than yesterday was today. So start today. Think to yourself, what is it that I'm trying to achieve or what are my realistic boundaries that I need to set for myself? Why am I doing that? And then make a plan and acknowledge your emotional responses along the way. You can do this. We can do this. Maybe I will post another video after the holiday season Um, and give you a real insight into how well I think I did, because please don't let this video (laughs) suggest that I'm an expert in this and that I don't spend a dime more than I mean to. I'm still learning this too. So let's learn this journey together. I actually have made a couple of other videos about how I think about my money mindset and my relationship with money and things that I've stopped spending money on as I've gotten older. So there, this is an ongoing process and I want to share it with you. And I also want to hear, please, in the comments below, what your strategies are. If you already have some strategies that work for you, or if you think I'm really missing something really big, like that would be really helpful. Let's have a conversation down in the comments below. And again, this isn't just for the holidays, although at the time that I'm making this video, we're approaching the holiday season, but these kinds of strategies can work all year long. So let's set goals. Let's be clear on why we're doing things. Let's not spend more than we need to. They play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck.